so uh, morning all of you uh, till now uh, we have been uh, learning about uh, static uh, cmos circuits and uh, today uh, we will uh, try and uh, discuss uh, something uh, 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 new uh, which is known as uh, dynamic uh, uh, logic okay uh, so uh, <coughs> static uh, cmos uh, we'll uh, see what is a static cmos and, and what is it this was an uh, static cmos circuit uh, which we studied like uh, uh, suppose you have to implement an uh, on a, uh, a full adder out here uh, no, a, a four bit uh, or uh, we saw that if you have a large number of uh, fan in uh, there is a uh, problem uh, so you can have uh, two ors and one more or and then if you put two uh, bubbles in front of those ors uh, they will become uh, nor and then uh, and and since uh, to compensate those two bubbles you put uh, uh, two bubbles to the input of the uh, uh, the third or that will become a nand so this is how it can be uh, implemented right uh, so uh, 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 algebraically also uh, we find that f is equal to a plus b plus c plus d uh, so i put uh, two knots out here and then uh, group uh, these two so if if i if i bring the one knot inside and uh, this will become this or will become an uh, uh, and so this will become an, an and of these two and this this is nor as such so this is an, an one way of uh, implementing out here right uh, so so if you see here this is one micro one micro since these are in four micros uh, no, the width okay uh, here um, probably it should it should have been a uh, two two out here two two out here uh, never mind okay uh, the essence is uh, like when we uh, design is uh, static cmos uh, like this you will find um, there is a uh, huge uh, p network right uh, uh, for every uh, n there is a p and generally uh, the p will be uh, of a bigger size than that of an uh, n so all the p mos they uh, contribute uh, towards large area like a large static dissipation and now why uh, i say static dissipation you will see um, there are um, uh, these are um, uh, p will be as such and um, they will be big sized and also there will be multiple paths available out here right so though the currents can come from uh, multiple paths so hence uh, there is a uh, static dissipation is there uh, dynamic dissipation uh, also will be there because of uh, short circuit currents uh, and uh, switching losses a uh, switching loss will be high because now uh, all these pmos they contribute uh, to a uh, uh, high capacitance at each node uh, so obviously we learned the equation for an a uh, 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 switching loss which is an uh, we have an and uh, what uh, f uh, cl and a uh, vdd square right so there is a cl there so that uh, cl these all these pmos they contribute you know, uh, towards the uh, no, uh, increased uh, cl so these are the, the disadvantages of an uh, static uh, cmos logic so we have uh, something uh, so this is an a uh, static cmos an uh, adder which we have implemented uh, so here also you see for uh, each corresponding n mos there were an uh, pmos network was there right so you see uh, so the uh, area and capacitance and uh, is uh, high for all these uh, circuits okay so something uh, we have uh, now an uh, uh, improved logic design which is known as uh, dynamic so uh, in the dynamic circuit and what we do is uh, we don't have a uh, pull up network at all okay so instead of an um, whole uh, pull up network there is an, a single uh, pull up trans p transistor uh, here okay which is driven by the uh, clock here and then uh, you have an uh, evaluate transistor here additionally so for a nand gate like uh, like this is an nand gate implementation right so if i uh, go back to, to show you this this nand out here we had uh, two transistors and these two pmos so these two pmos uh, have been uh, removed out here and uh, one pmos has been placed here uh, which is enable uh, which is for precharge and one uh, nmos has been placed below for uh, evaluate so if i go back to this circuit um, how it uh, works like is when the clock is zero okay when the clock is zero it is known as a pre-charge period where this node will be uh, charged to uh, high okay so the output will go uh, towards high okay the clock will be low uh, and uh, during the evaluation period the clock will go high right this will be uh, switched off now once this is switched off uh, depending on a and b uh, either this node uh, uh, will be uh, retained at one or it will be discharged to zero uh, in this case uh, this is a nand gate so if both a and b are one the output will be uh, pulled to zero during the uh, evaluation uh, phase okay uh, so this is how uh, this circuit uh, functions uh, is it uh, okay with uh, all of you 
yeah uh, rana sorrow is it okay uh, the functioning of uh, this particular uh, gate is it okay yeah okay and uh, now let, let's see uh, what is the uh, advantage in uh, doing this okay uh, the, the one is uh, area is less okay uh, now uh, here in this particular case and uh, you will find for an uh, it, this could be a very very complex circuit also right the entire p network uh, for nand gates obviously and uh, we have removed two pmos and you have put two and uh, p mos here uh, one n mos additional one p mos it may not make a difference but for, for example for this uh, you know, a full adder this entire thing will be replaced by it a uh, single p mos okay so in that case obviously there will be uh, area will be less lesser uh, static dissipation okay now now this p mos okay the role of this p mos is to charge this uh, output okay when the clock is low so i can keep this p mos another uh, as uh, weak as possible right um, that is slowly it can charge because there is enough time when the clock is low so uh, this doesn't contribute towards the uh, rise time okay uh, only during the evaluation case uh, these transistors have to be sized properly so that uh, quickly it can be uh, brought down to zero uh, whereas uh, it can charge you know, it, it, it taking its own and a good time okay there is no uh, issue because the clock is low there so this can be a, a weak pmos okay uh, so if it is a weak uh, pmos the, the static dissipation will be uh, very very uh, less you can uh, bring down uh, and and also the short circuit current also will be much uh, less sir uh, because if you see this is uh, pre charged and when the clock is going high it will be vdd here it will be vdd here uh, and this is a weak pmos also so by the time the clock goes high uh, this will be switched off so you will have the short circuit and also and a lesser a uh, switching loss also is lesser because the net capacitance and uh, offered out at this node will be uh, lesser uh, is this uh, advantages and uh, understood by um, all of you uh, uh, if not we can uh, repeat it once uh, is it okay 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 uh, so can we implement all use uh, combinational circuits may not be having a uh, clock no uh, when we say uh, dynamic logic then all the combinational circuits and uh, uh, will have will uh, uh, be uh, will have to be uh, clocked okay uh, so uh, if you see a microprocessor or uh, things like that most of them will be a clock but you can have a combination of a dynamic logic and a static logic also that is also possible some modules you might want to have a dynamic logics and some uh, static logic also that is perfectly uh, fine okay uh, so uh, ultimately once uh, all the computation is done uh, before this data is put into microprocessor it is put into some register so that register will be clocked like microprocessor is finally fine only everything has to go to a microprocessor there you will have uh, registers and uh, which will uh, right and uh, which will have an, an uh, a, a edge triggered thing which will uh, capture that data so it is not an uh, issue right so the clock will be uh, there right now uh, if you uh, compare with uh, uh, with respect to the static uh, 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 na uh, logic so there are a few things uh, na, which come out glaringly uh, one is uh, in a static circuit the output is always connected to the vdd uh, or ground uh, na, through a resistance path like uh, when we when we see here uh, either vdd will be connected or there will be a ground which will be connected at any given point this is not uh, hanging but that is not the case uh, for a uh, a dynamic logic uh, suppose this is during the uh, low clock this will obviously be connected to vdd but when we, in during the evaluation case uh, for example a and b uh, both are off then this needs to be retained at one right so this is not connected anywhere it is hanging so this dynamic logic uh, actually uh, no, uh, is uh, based on uh, holding the charge uh, here at this node at as an uh, high impedance out here right now okay somebody is ringing the bell just give me 30 seconds yeah uh, sorry okay uh, i am audible right uh, yeah okay uh, so so uh, what was i was saying uh, so th this uh, uh, static loss dynamic loss short circuit these these losses are uh, less okay uh, can we consider uh, so so these are uh, 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 less during uh, uh, switching okay uh, can we consider dynamic CMOS as a sequential circuit or a comp no this is not a uh, sequential circuit uh, sequential circuit when we say uh, it has got a uh, memory element okay uh, here there is uh, no memory element 
okay uh, so a memory element is when there is an uh, uh, cloud during one of the edges and uh, data will be captured and it will be uh, retained till you get the next clock okay so uh, this is not exactly a uh, memory uh, element okay uh, so uh, this is you know, these are some of the advantages of an uh, dynamic uh, logic okay uh, not audible i'm audible now okay Yeah. Okay. Uh, now I was uh, saying. Sir, I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. Sir, can you please go to the previous slide, please? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, so, uh, just as I have written, uh, written in the chat as well, uh -huh. do, uh, is there any restriction that during evaluation phase A and B cannot change? Yeah. Uh, we'll, I'm we'll, asking this. Yeah. We will we'll discuss. This. I'm asking this question because if let's say, uh, yeah, let's it. say, I got it. Uh, uh -huh. I, I have a slide. You know, which will uh, we'll discuss that. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll, we have a slide. There are some restrictions. We'll discuss that. Okay. 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 Uh, so uh, we see uh, in static circuits at every uh, given point of time. Okay. This is what uh, I was telling. It will be either. Uh, but uh, here there will be uh, no, um, times at which no, the node is uh, floating. Okay. So the, uh, the voltage will be stored in the uh, parasitic capacitance available at that particular uh, node okay and the number of uh, transistors okay and now uh, here uh, for a static cmos it will be uh, 2n uh, okay n type uh, n number of for an n input uh, and a, a n uh, for a fan in of n that means for n in n input a uh, total transistor is 2n a n a number of n type and n number of p type devices will be required uh, whereas for dynamic uh, circuits for n inputs uh, okay, uh, so total uh, 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 n, n plus 1 uh, uh, n type uh, will be required and 1 p type will be required. So, total n plus 2 is required. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, don't uh, take uh, this is different. Okay, this bracket and total n plus 2 is required n plus 1. So, this uh, one comes from the evaluation transistor. Okay, uh, and that p mos 1 comes from the uh, pre charged transistor. So, th those two to, to, and n comes from the total uh, no, pull down network. So, uh, that is the total number of uh, transistors you know, which are uh, required. Okay, uh, so this is how, uh, like uh, for a function, it is implemented and uh, shown out here. Uh, so what is done? It is uh, a, b, or uh, a, b, and and or. So obviously this is pulled out network. So you have an a bar out here. So when the clock is zero, it gets uh, precharged to uh, one, and when the uh, clock is an, uh, one. Then this gets uh, turned down. This gets uh, turned on. Uh, so uh, accordingly, if if, uh, if this condition is met, either C is one, and uh, or A and B both are one. In that case, this will be uh, pulled out to zero. So you can write this in a, uh, in a, in a Boolean expression for out like this, like a clock bar. Why why I write clock bar is when the clock is zero, the output will be one, and when the clock is one, uh, it will uh, implement this uh, function uh, uh, A dot uh, B C. Right, uh, uh, so this is what. And no sequential uh, logic uh, is uh, uh, generally <coughs> an, uh, 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 not only a clock; it is an, uh, based on an, uh, the edge of the clock and uh, between two edge of the clock. And uh, there is a memory element. Okay, so that is how a uh, sequential uh, circuit is. Uh, defined okay sequential logic uh, it it depends on the previous stage also okay the the the, the uh, uh, input uh, uh, yeah, the output at any given instance uh, is dependent on the present inputs as well as the uh, previous inputs so to uh, you have a uh, latch or a flip flop uh, to capture that previous input also so that is how a sequential uh, logic is uh, 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 uh no uh, is uh, <coughs> defined okay uh, so uh, so it, it is uh, uh, this is not uh, really a uh, mux also right uh, it is just an a uh, simple thing we have uh, done away with the pmos network right uh, what does a pmos network do the pull up network charges the output node okay uh, so you have a huge uh, pmos network so uh, so we are done away with that whole uh, big network and put a small transistor and when the clock is low uh, we are charging that node to one and then we are using only the uh, pull down network you know? so, so that is the way we are implementing an uh, dynamic gate 
so uh, okay uh, now what are the some of the properties is uh, the output of the dynamic gate is discharged it cannot be charged until the next precharge operation right so uh, that means uh, if it is uh, once it is charged okay then it can be pulled down to zero right it cannot be pulled down to zero again brought up to one okay it can be brought up to one only again during the clock going low so that is what uh, this says okay we'll discuss this again in detail later on uh, input to the gates can make at most one transition during uh, evaluation okay uh, like uh, suppose uh, no, this is a uh, pull down network i have charged it to one now uh, c can make okay one transition like it can go from uh, 1 to 0 uh, or uh, no, uh, 0 to 1 uh, right it can't make two two transitions because once it is discharged to 0 now it cannot be charged to 0 during the evaluation phase it can be uh, charged back to 1 only during pre-charge period so that is the uh, restriction okay inputs cannot uh, make only one transition is uh, permitted during uh, evaluation okay uh, output can be a high impedance state okay so the output we say can be in high impedance state also okay that that happens when it is pre-charged to one uh, and then all these are in uh, off in that case this node is not connected to vdd or connected to ground it remains in high impedance and the charge which is available here uh, previously that is retained here so that is an high impedance in our state okay so and that is one of the properties of the uh, dynamic uh, gate okay uh, so uh, i think uh, uh, this we already uh, discussed uh, full full swing output is available like a uh, vol uh, for it is zero and voh is uh, vdd okay uh, from one to zero output will be uh, suppose c makes a transition from uh, zero uh, uh, then the output will be discharged uh, from one to zero here here no if it makes a transition from 0 to 1 this will be discharged to uh, 0 right if it makes from uh, no, uh, yeah if it is makes from 1 to 0 then when it was 1 it will get discharged when it is become 0 then it will won't be charged to the, uh, there we will see that you know, uh, that, that is uh, this particular aspect uh, just wait for another few slides and uh, we'll uh, discuss that in detail okay uh, so uh, what i was saying okay uh, full output is available like it can be pre-charged to vdd and it can be discharged to ground ground so it is not a ratio okay the size of these transistors uh, doesn't matter okay so it is non-ratioed logic and uh, full rail to rail voltages uh, available non-ratioed and full rail to rail and a uh, faster switching because of uh, reduced in uh, cl okay uh, and also uh, <coughs> the uh, rise time is zero right because it is already pre-charged so there is no rise time involved only uh, fall time is uh, involved there is no rise time so that is one more uh, advantage of an uh, dynamic gate okay uh, faster uh, switching mm, uh, faster switching is because there is the uh, net capacitance is lesser so only pull down is to be done okay so that is the reason okay uh, now the overall power dissipation uh, can be higher than static CMOS okay uh, why because uh, no, now uh, no, normally what happens is uh, no, that, uh, no, uh, <coughs> here in dynamic every clock the output will be charged to 1 uh, and then uh, depending on the logic it will again get discharged to 0 or 1 so there is lot of switching uh, activity uh, involved in this uh, dynamic uh, no, uh, gate so there is a possibility of a higher power uh, dissipation okay but uh, if the switching activity is low okay uh, in that particular case okay uh, then <coughs> uh, for, uh, especially for uh, switching activity is low then the higher power dissipation will be there but if if, if in the static uh, 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 logic also there's a lot of switching activities if the inputs are changing very fast in that case uh, the powers become you know, almost equal if there is a lot of switching activity as such available in the inputs uh, then this becomes uh, uh, very very uh, handy like like for example uh, if you have a uh, uh, dynamic uh, uh, gates and uh, within a uh, microprocessor or an uh, alu with every cycle it has to keep uh, computing right so as such the data is going to uh, change every time so you can as well use the dynamic gate so that uh, uh, higher switching activity uh, as compared to a static so that is not uh, really applicable so uh, say in alus and all right so in those kind of uh, things we can always use uh, dynamic uh, gates out here right so <clears throat>
uh, clock uh, yeah you can uh, do some clock gating to reduce the uh, power uh, okay that we can uh, do out here right so uh, higher transition uh, probabilities uh, so uh, uh, I have uh, done in one of my papers in, 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 in a dynamic full adder some uh, clock gating to reduce the uh, power okay uh, I, uh, you can uh, go through one of those papers okay uh, higher uh, transition uh, probabilities uh, extra load on a clock this so these are uh, again some of the disadvantages because there will be a lot of switching and extra load on the clock circuit okay uh, and there is uh, another uh, uh, issue low noise margin right uh, so uh, here if you see here uh, this circuit and you know, when the clock goes high this gets uh, switched off completely right then what about the low noise margin will be uh, vtn of the pull down network right so the no noise margin uh, is low uh, will be uh, vtn okay so that is one of the uh, uh, issues out here right so that becomes an issue out here uh, needs a pre-charge and evaluate uh, clock okay so these are some of the uh, disadvantages of an uh, dynamic uh, gate uh, so the main uh, advantages are okay uh, increased speed and reduced implementation area okay speed is uh, increased obviously because uh, the uh, rise, rise time is zero right rise time ptph is zero because it's already pre-charged fall time will be much lesser it will be three to four times faster because the load capacitance is reduced and we know the propagation delay is directly proportional to the capacitance at that node and we don't have the entire pmos network itself so it has become it is pretty fast now right so that is one of the uh, biggest advantage that the uh, speed and uh, area also okay area is also a major issue in a modern vlsi circuit right so entire pmos network and a huge networks for big circuit that can be done away with so these are the two uh, main uh, advantages okay so power is a disadvantage higher power but to um, delay uh, and area they are the uh, no, uh, no plus points of a dynamic uh, logic okay uh, so the pre-charge time is generally uh, used you know, uh, for uh, like instruction uh, decode and all right so so when the clock is low uh, then uh, these uh, no, circuits are uh, pre-charged and meanwhile an uh, instruction decode and those kind of uh, instructions my microprocessors use that particular pre-charge period for instruction decode and other activities okay uh, so uh, clock frequency will uh, 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 define speed yes yes uh, with respect to uh, no uh, okay uh, clock frequency but clock what is the clock frequency which we are going to give or to a static circuit and to an uh, so like finally uh, you, you if you have a st static adder okay if it takes 10 nanosecond right uh, for uh, for the propagation uh, delay then the clock frequency of the system has to cater for that 10 delay nanosecond delay of a static CMOS adder but if I am using a dynamic adder uh, the delay will come to 5 nanosecond right I'm just giving an example so uh, obviously the clock frequency can go much higher uh, is it okay yeah uh, Amalia Prasad yeah okay so that is the reason although there is a clock here even if in the static it doesn't mean there is there is no clock there agreed but the propagation delays will be higher because of the entire pmos network that will in turn uh, bring down my the entire uh, 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 clock operating uh, frequency okay so that is the reason right uh, so now uh, let's see uh, uh, what is the uh, switching activity so this uh, transition activity uh, this is uh, not only for uh, dynamic okay uh, this philosophy is also equally applicable to the uh, static uh, no, uh, circuits also for a static circuit uh, also uh, we uh, learnt that uh, the power equation was given by if you remember it is an f into uh, cl into vdd square okay uh, for now that is an, uh, uh, that is assuming that at every clock and uh, there is a transition at the output from 0 to 1 okay but that is not the case always right uh, for example there is an um, nor gate okay uh, so uh, the output the power from the power supply will be consumed uh, only when the output is going from 0 to 1 right only when 
the out the, the 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 power from the power supply will be consumed only when the output is going from zero to one. When the output is going from one to zero, uh, whatever is the node uh, with, uh, uh, charge available at that node that will be dissipated as heat in the NMOS network. So when I say power uh, power equation power that is being uh, consumed from the power supply source and uh, it, it earlier we learnt about an uh, f into cl into vdd square uh, now we will uh, modify that particular equation uh, to uh, include uh, this uh, now activity transition activity now if you see here uh, see for these three conditions it is output is zero and here it is uh, no, one right so now if you see here the probability of uh, the output being uh, zero right of is uh, 3 by 4 and the probability of uh, output from here to going to uh, 1 that is 1 here is 1 by 4 so the nor static probability is 3 by 16 okay uh, that is provided uh, pa the probability of an uh, input being 0 or 1 uh, a is is uh, na, same and the probability of b being 0 and 1 is same so in in if this condition is met then the uh, total probability uh, of the input going from 0 to 1 will be 3 by 4 into 1 by 4 3 by 16 is this understood or is it uh, confusing tell me uh, shall i repeat it yeah okay okay uh, see I have an uh, input in a, a and B right so this is a nor gate so for this particular condition it is output is 1 for these three conditions the output is 0 now let me assume that the probability of a uh, being 0 or 1 is 50% uh, so I have PA is equal to half and PB is equal to half okay so uh, all this that means uh, this combination this combination this combination and this combination has got uh, equal probability okay in that case what is the probability that uh, input is 0 uh, 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 input is zero uh, this 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 and uh, out, out of the four combinations for these three combinations the output will be zero so I get uh, three by four and the probability for the output from going from zero to one will be uh, three by four into one by four this is one by four so I get three by sixteen so I have to multiply this three by sixteen uh, into f vdd square cl to get the actual uh, power uh, is it okay Is it okay? Yeah, Devdeep? Yeah, okay, okay. So, uh, uh, this is one. Uh, so, uh, now uh, in this case, uh, we first assumed that uh, PA and uh, PB is equal to half. Uh, in case PA and uh, PB is not uh, half, okay, there could be the probability of A being 1 uh, is PA and uh, B being 1. Uh, is pb okay then the equation gets uh, modified uh, out here like uh, so uh, the 1 minus 0 is the probability that uh, this is an uh, uh, p being uh, 0 uh, this is an uh, again a uh, pb being a uh, 0 so 1 minus and and then uh, you you this modification this equation uh, gets modified the probability of uh, 0 to 1 okay uh, this this will be modified like this uh, in case uh, pa and pb are not uh, 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 equal probability here we took half half and that is why we got this equation in case they are uh, not half half then uh, this will be the uh, total uh, probability okay uh, for uh, the that is known as the uh, switching uh, activity okay overall uh, in any case probability is always uh, less than uh, one yeah which is great yeah so uh, so uh, uh, yeah if you take you know p uh, no, uh, f uh, vdd square uh, cl uh, then obviously uh, we will cater for the uh, no, uh, maximum uh, power consumption uh, situation so uh, we will err on the positive side itself okay uh, so this is known as a transition uh, activity right now uh, if you see here one uh, example is given here uh, for uh, and nor okay uh, this is the equation for or uh, or like an uh, like uh, <coughs> the output for zero will be right uh, uh, both of them are uh, zero then only an uh, uh, output will be zero so so p zero will be one minus p a one minus an uh, p b right and and for uh, the opposite will be for uh, one so these are for uh, for uh, uh, nand 
uh, 1 1 will give 0 so the pa into pb so this is p0 probability 1 minus pa pb will be the probability of 1 so this is uh, one example also you can uh, just uh, go through it i'll share the slide uh, so if this is given what is the switching activity at each uh, node it is pretty uh, simple so you can uh, refer to this slide and in case there is any uh, doubt we will uh, discuss it okay uh, simple things so you should be able to uh, do these things okay uh, now now let's see some of the uh, problems associated with the uh, dynamic uh, logic okay uh, so uh, one of this uh, is known as a charge sharing uh, phenomena so uh, this output during the pre-charge state i have uh, charged it to uh, say a uh, one okay this is now uh, fully charged to one okay so this is vdd out here now what happens now, now if right and uh, this is an NAND gate if B is 0 A is 1 right so this is this transistor gets switched on uh, there will be some node capacitance here which can be denoted as uh, CX so some of the charge available here uh, will get transferred to uh, CX right so this output node will not remain VDD it will come uh, below VDD so that is known as that is why we call dynamic logic suffers from charge sharing uh, phenomena okay so there are uh, two different uh, conditions out here uh, first we assume that uh, cx is uh, much lesser than uh, cy okay uh, that means this is a very very small capacitance out here uh, if the capacitance is small uh, that means a small charge uh, a little bit sharing of charge uh, can cause a uh, great increase in voltage uh, is this uh, 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 sentence understood right capacitance cx is much uh, lower than cy right so a small amount of charge uh, q a small q uh, will result in uh, increase in a uh, uh, significant increase in uh, vdd right okay uh, because if you see capacitance is uh, q by uh, v right so if c c is large small q means large vdd also right so a uh, vdd uh, the difference in voltage will be on a c divided by q so since c is large so uh, so uh, if cx is much is much smaller than cy then this output uh, there is adequate charge available here to charge this capacitance to whatever voltage it wants okay whatever voltage is permissible okay and what is permissible voltage out here because this is an nmos the voltage here can go up to vdd minus vtn is it okay till here amiya sagar is it okay yeah okay so we are talking up of a case where cx is much lesser than uh, cy so uh, initially vdd is getting so the charge finally it is charged here now the charge is getting distributed so i can equate the charge this total charge initially which was there was vdd into cy now it is getting now this is no more vdd it has come down to vy and cy and this voltage across cx is vdd minus vtn into uh, cx right now uh, i can write delta v out delta v out is vy minus vdd okay so so uh, i am uh, taking uh, this vdd out here uh, right this term out here and i am bringing this term out here uh, and hence there is an, a negative out here okay this negative uh, indicates that uh, this voltage is going to uh, this uh, voltage is lesser than the initial voltage so uh, initially it was vdd and now uh, you will have to subtract this much to get delta uh, no, the delta v out okay so that is why this negative indicates like that okay v out is defined like that uh, vy minus the initial voltage which is vdd okay so vy minus vdd so i get vdd minus vtn cy i get this uh, equation so you see so uh, the voltage will get uh, uh, dropped by this much amount uh, is it okay uh, what is it uh, both will charge to vdd minus vtn no no no, no. Uh, this will get charged to vdd minus uh, vtl right okay now what is the final voltage final voltage will be uh, vdd plus this much okay plus this minus of this much so obviously it will be less than vdd uh, is it okay is it for uh, okay uh, this is the node capacitance uh, here 
okay so now, now initially it was vdd now it will be a vdd plus v out okay that means vdd minus this much amount okay so that will be the node capacitor so this uh, suffers from uh, uh, this particular uh, issue so this so you will see the vdd is not uh, uh, for x uh, vx is equal to no no uh, vx will be uh, vdd minus vtn okay because this transistor is switched on and this will get charged this is an n mos uh, this is an n mos this can charge uh, like uh, like we uh, learned that uh, n mos is not a good transmitter of one right uh, only p mos can transmit good one so n mos will uh, charge only till vdd minus vtn uh, is it okay yeah so this is an issue like like this is an issue we need to resolve this if it goes below vtn of the next stage okay uh, 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 okay uh, now what is this vdd minus but it should uh, yeah this voltage will come to vdd minus vtn finally cx will be vdd minus vtn and this will be less than vdd by an amount given by this equation okay uh, so okay now let's uh, take a uh, second case uh, where an uh, cx okay is an uh, 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 comparable to cy uh, in that case okay a large amount of charge will have to be an uh, uh, given here you know, for this cx to be na uh, charged right for this to come up to vdd minus tn but that much charge may not be available here because uh, as it keeps uh, giving the charge this voltage also uh, will keep decreasing right so if you see here uh, if this delta v out is greater than vtt minus v out okay so then uh, this this uh, that particular earlier equation will not uh, hold good right I, I, this voltage cannot fall uh, na, below v na, na, vdd minus vtn for this node voltage uh, uh, in fact below v out minus vtn for this like it cannot go below this voltage to get this charge right so it will uh, stop uh, sharing the charge when these two voltages will become uh, equal right if cx is large then charge transfer will take place till the till these two voltages become uh, equal right so it cannot go uh, much higher than that it cannot go uh, more than uh, till vdd minus vtn if cs is large so it will stop uh, no, the charge sharing will uh, uh, stop when both these voltages become uh, equal so if i write the equation vdd cy is equal to by cy plus vx on uh, cx now this x uh, no, since both these voltages will be equal i can write it as uh, vy right now uh, i i do that uh, manipulation then i'll get delta v out is minus vdd cx divided by uh, cy so this is the drop in voltage which will uh, occur here right obviously there will be uh, this this will be much uh, greater than the uh, previous equation out here right so this will be uh, much uh, greater here you have vdd uh, minus vtn cx by uh, cy right because cx was very small now this vtn is uh, not there okay uh, so you will find a greater drop out here in this particular in this particular uh, case when cx is large so this is how uh, no, this uh, particular uh, circuit suffers from uh, something known as uh, dynamic uh, uh, charge sharing uh, phenomena right uh, now on a, uh, okay this is uh, one uh, example out here so uh, suppose uh, this is an uh, cy50 uh, so and, and you have an, a lot of nodes capacitance so what will be the uh, delta v out so if you see this is 2.5 volt here 2.5 volt uh, 30 uh, no, uh, 30 where did i get this 30 it is cx no? so i have to see in each of these path so whichever path is the uh, giving the uh, maximum uh, load now if you see here uh, it is coming uh, here 15 uh, and then here one more 15 in this path okay there are other paths also so at any given time only uh, one path will be activated right uh, uh, this is a or the a bar path so if i uh, talk about a path it is 15 and 15 if i talk about an uh, uh, a bar path there are uh, two paths and uh, there is one path here b bar which is 15 and there is one more b path here this is only uh, 10 out here 
and there is uh, right so so this is an a uh, uh, 15 15 is an uh, which is the uh, maximum worst case an a uh, path right so i put that 15 plus 15 30 uh, and, uh, and and then this is an a uh, 50 so 50 so uh, this is the uh, total uh, drop which is going to happen like uh, 2.5 minus 0.94 so that will be the voltage available here okay so that is the kind of uh, deterioration uh, which will happen because of uh, charge uh, sharing okay and now uh, one of the solutions to uh, charge uh, sharing is uh, to uh, supply a, a clock to uh, each of these nodes like this is being uh, charged to uh, uh, VDD right uh, to, to high voltage okay. okay this is also and each of these nodes gets charged to uh, VDD okay uh, when so this uh, that means large number of you know, pmos you know, will be required here so this is not a good solution but one solution is like this okay uh, so at least in one or two nodes you can uh, give uh, put an additional you know, a transistor out here and and you can uh, try to charge those nodes also so this is not a very good solution i'll give you uh, better solutions we will uh, discuss okay uh, uh, so <clears throat> I think I will take a uh, five minutes in a break here or shall we cover two, three more uh, slides? Okay. Uh, Charmi, uh, w w what is the uh, doubt? Tell me here. Uh, what is the doubt? Uh, can you uh, repeat you said right uh, what is the uh, see uh, here what we are doing is uh, each uh, like this node we are charging it to vdd so we can have uh, uh, several of uh, few more uh, one or two more pmos and charge the other nodes also uh, vdd okay uh, so uh, that uh, that is known as <coughs> uh, uh, like you uh, one of the solutions to for uh, charge uh, distributing okay so uh, this is uh, one option available to us okay uh, so let, let's uh, take uh, one or two more slides and then we'll take a break okay uh, what is uh, capacitive uh, coupling okay now this is a dynamic uh, NAND which is driving a uh, static NAND okay so uh, suppose this is zero zero so th this is one out here right so this continues to be one this is driving a uh, static NAND out here so uh, if you see here uh, it is driving one NMOS and one PMOS there is one more PMOS and one more NMOS uh, this is being driven by uh, some other input now suppose this input is going from uh, 0 to 1 out here this particular node you know uh, like this particular node will go to uh, a, a 0 right so now if you see here if this is going to uh, 0 out here because uh, like this this, this uh, sorry uh, this node because this is going to high m m uh, no, 3 is going to uh, get uh, get uh, switched on uh, although this 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 will be you know uh, uh, this node is since it is an uh, 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 this is going to get uh, this is already one this is also going to one so this node is also going to get zero this node is also going to get zero here so there is one tra tra capacitor here stray capacitance between the gate and the drain and gate and the drain here so the output out here is likely whatever is the charge available here that will get uh, shared here through these two uh, capacitors it will get coupled so this is known as back gate coupling so this is also an uh, issue with the dynamic logic like we said dynamic logics are generally uh, used in you know, a static dy dynamic uh, combinations we use so in those combinations so we have uh, this particular uh, issue uh, also right so this is known as bad gate coupling so this is also one of the uh, uh, drawbacks okay uh, so uh, i think we'll uh, take a break now and we'll uh, have it after it is 11 uh, 19 here 11 30 uh, we'll start again okay thanks a lot so uh, before going on a uh, break uh, somebody wanted me to uh, repeat this uh, bad back gate coupling what it is uh, suppose uh, 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 this is pre charged to 1 and in the evaluation uh, phase i have a equal to 0 b is equal to 0 see so this node is uh, 1 and and this is an, an and gate if you see this is two uh, trans nmos in series and two pmos in uh, parallel okay this pmos is uh, shown like a mirror to each other so uh, it might look calm but it is just a uh, uh, simple nand gate okay now it is one out here and we are assuming that input is zero initially uh, so if input is uh, zero this m3 is switched off 
uh, and m5 is switched out so this output is at vdd right and this node also will be at uh, vdd because m4 is on now the input is making a transition from uh, 0 to 1 out here so this is nand right so both the input this was initially high now this is also going high so that means this output has to come to a uh, zero out here so this is also switched down so if you see here now uh, this node is going to be a zero now and similarly this node is also going to be a uh, zero ground uh, ground here so whatever charge was available here so there is a possibility that this charge gets a uh, shade uh, through this capacitor to ground and through this capacitor to the ground so it uh, suffers from uh, charge sharing uh, issue when it is driving an uh, other gate also a static uh, gate also uh, is it understood yeah Deep Deep. okay so so okay uh, so so now uh, one of the uh, uh, no, uh, solutions uh, is to have an uh, keeper PMOS okay what a keeper keeper PMOS it's a uh, weak PMOS okay very very uh, weak PMOS so uh, now if you know you convert you put an inverter here and you put an uh, PMOS out here now if the suppose this input is supposed to be one in the evaluation phase through this inverter uh, this will be a uh, zero out here so this transistor will enable this node to be uh, you know whatever charge gets distributed so that will be repl replenished by this pmos out here okay and and this pmos will be on uh, only if uh, this is an uh, 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 one if it is zero here suppose this is getting discharged by the nmos it is zero here then it will be one uh, if it is zero here uh, it will be one out here so the P this pmos will not uh, come into action so this pmos will come into action uh, only if this uh, output n is is one out here so in the if it is one out here then uh, through this inverter this pmos uh, no, will uh, replenish this uh, charge okay uh, so but there is a uh, small uh, issue out here also uh, so uh, if you see here uh, uh, suppose uh, 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 this is one out here right and this is driving some other uh, so suppose this output is a uh, one out here right when the when the uh, no, clock is uh, going uh, high right so this is one here right and and then uh, you have uh, zero out here right this this is also uh, switched on so uh, when when this uh, transition is going from uh, zero to one out here right and you have a direct path uh, and if uh, no, uh, a is also <coughs> also one you have a direct path between uh, vdd and ground so you have that uh, kind of uh, a short circuit and uh, happening for a short duration so that is known as uh, contention okay like you have in in the uh, static circuit so uh, that kind of uh, contention uh, does happen uh, here also short circuit current will be uh, high okay uh, so to prevent that uh, okay uh, in one of these papers uh, this uh, okay can uh, okay now if you see here uh, this node is uh, high right here uh, during during the uh, pre-charge okay this uh, output node a uh, is uh, high out here right now when the clock is going now now suppose the uh, clock is going from uh, low to high this nmos will be uh, switched on right this nmos so since this is one out here this this transistor when the clock is going high uh, this will be switched off right but but since this is one out here right and and this is a zero here this also will be uh, switched on right so you will have an a path of a current flow from here to here Okay, that is known as an uh, uh, contention okay so this although it is an a weak transistor uh, but, but but still now when the clock is high this is on uh, this is on uh, 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 this is going from an uh, 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 if it is enough uh, for a short period for a short period okay this is going uh, no this is going from one to so for a short period there will be an uh, short circuit current okay so that is the uh, uh, issue so till the time this becomes in a zero okay till the time this one becomes in a zero okay for that short duration of time there will be a path once this becomes zero this pmos will be uh, switched off right so th this will be uh, no, uh, <coughs> so immediately when the uh, clock is going high this remains uh, like this is one initially pre-charged to one so this is uh, zero so this transistor remains on when the clock is coming uh, and going high now when the clock is going high okay now this has to come to zero you know okay till that time okay there is a propagation delay here also right till that time this will also be on so there is a path between vdd uh, and uh, uh, yeah a will be pre-charged okay let me explain you once again a is pre-charged to one 
okay a is precharged to 1 out here right and now when the clock is going uh, high this is this will be switched off okay will this will be switched off no okay because uh, this was one here okay this was one here so this is zero here this is switched on when will this be switched off when this is also one now this clock is also one here this voltage has come to uh, has to fall below you know, uh, 50 percent only then this inverter will get triggered and once this inverter gets triggered then only this this zero will make a one here so till that time there is a direct path between vdd and ground uh, is it okay yeah okay so this is known as uh, contention okay now to uh, avoid that uh, we have uh, this particular uh, topology Okay, now uh, what happens is uh, here in this, if you see here, uh, when the uh, clock, now initially this is pre-charged to uh, 1 out here. Okay, this is this node is pre-charged to 1 here. So, I have uh, 1 here, right. The moment the clock is going low, right, uh, clock is going high, uh, I have an uh, 1 here. So, this PMOS will be uh, switched off immediately. Okay, and this will be uh, switched off uh, uh, immediately right because uh, you have an, a one here uh, when, when the clock is no, uh, no no sorry when the clock is zero so uh, no, i explained it wrong when the clock is zero out here when the clock is zero this is pre-charged so this is one here but low clock here right so this will be switched off initially okay when the clock is zero this is uh, switched off now when the clock is going high right so if it is one here right if it is supposed to remain one here there is a one here then this will be uh, switched or no this will go zero and this will be switched on that means we are uh, delaying the switching on of uh, this okay uh, if you delay the switching on of this uh, no, pmos then there will be uh, no uh, contention available right so th this was because this was initially being switched on itself right so uh, suppose this is a uh, uh, one out here so uh, by, uh, by there is a propagation delay here so this will not be uh, switched on immediately uh, suppose this is going to zero in that case uh, obviously th this will never be switched on because this output is going to go to uh, zero out here so this will not get an, uh, uh, switched on at all right but if it is supposed to remain one also in that case also it there, there will be one propagation delay of a NAND gate for this node to become zero so there will be no contention uh, is it an, uh, understood by everybody yeah okay so by uh, putting this we are just uh, delaying the switching on of this this is like in the uh, previous case it, it used to remain switched on early itself one zero here and this is to be uh, switched on now this will be switched on only after the rising edge of the clock right and then there is one propagation delay of this NAND gate so by that time this decision will be taken here whether it is to remain one or zero if it is supposed to remain one then this will be switched now suppose this has to go to zero then that will not allow this node to get switched on at all so because of that that small uh, modification these guys have uh, you know, uh, said so you may not find this in uh, every textbook um, but I picked up from this paper okay uh, so this we can do okay now uh, there is uh, one other uh, issue which is known as uh, clock uh, feed through when you do the uh, simulations also you will find the uh, output wave is making an, a transition more than vdd uh, and, and uh, less than a uh, ground also okay my it will go to the negative okay uh, these are because because of the uh, gate to uh, drain uh, capacitance out here okay the fast uh, switching which is happening here so through this capacitance it will get an, uh, th because this is uh, sluggish okay this is a weak uh, PMOS this will be sluggish okay uh, because if the clock is <coughs> going high so uh, to um, uh, affect this uh, change out here so so uh, uh, the charges will get coupled uh, uh, because this capacitance the charge will get uh, coupled through the uh, gate to drain capacitance so you will have this uh, small uh, kind of an uh, uh, excursions being made uh, during the uh, switching so okay, these are known as uh, uh, clock and uh, feed through so you have to be uh, careful uh, this will be higher if you give very very steep uh, clocks okay so the rise time and the fall time of the uh, clocks 
uh, in a digital circuit also you have to be carefully you can't uh, give a uh, one picosecond rise time and, and a field time uh, and a fall time uh, because these kind of uh, couplings will happen okay uh, because these may not be able to react uh, uh, at that fast rate uh, but nevertheless these capacitances will uh, couple this uh, uh, clock input to the uh, output so it can go uh, beyond uh, uh, the permissible limit so you have to be very very uh, careful uh, when we are uh, deciding the uh, rise time and the fall time of the clock okay uh, so so that is one thing which we have to uh, that is known as uh, clock to uh, uh, feed through okay uh, yeah uh, this was an, uh, uh, one issue uh, which uh, somebody had uh, early itself and uh, understood that there will be a problem here uh, who was that yeah uh, somebody had an, oh sorry so uh, uh, one of the uh, drawbacks out here okay uh, here here is like uh, uh, during the evaluation phase okay uh, now, during this during the pre charge output will be uh, charged to one okay uh, once it is charged to one this clock will be enabled when the clock is enabled if a is making a transition 0 to 0 there is no problem this will continue to remain one if it is making a transition from 0 to 1 right if 0 to 1 also so this will be discharged to zero no problem if it is continuing to remain one right if it is one it will be discharged to zero and if it is continuing to remain one there is no problem but if it is going to make a transition from one to zero okay then there is an issue because initially it was one out here so this will be this will get discharged to zero now if it is making a transition from zero to one the, okay, that means it, it is this is a dynamic inverter right this has to go to one that cannot happen during evaluation phase right it can only again get charged to one when it is in the uh, pre-charge when it, there is a pre-charge so uh, this is not uh, no, so this dynamic gates requires monocytically rising inputs during evaluation right you can't have an uh, no, signal which is uh, falling from one to zero so that is not permitted as an input to a dynamic logic okay when during the evaluation phase okay so if at all the data has to change from 1 to 0 that should happen during the uh, pre-charge period not during the evaluation period uh, is this uh, uh, clear to all of you uh, Hari Doshi yeah Rekha is it okay yeah okay yeah okay uh, so this is uh, one more issue with the dynamic cage okay uh, now uh, uh, I, I think this one last uh, slide uh, there is an another uh, last issue with uh, dynamic gates that is we cannot uh, there is an issue with cascading to uh, dynamic gates okay so suppose this one inverter this is a uh, second inverter okay so this case will be true for other gates also but it is easiest understood uh, through an inverter example and that is why I have taken one inverter driving and a uh, second inverter right so this is uh, like uh, suppose this inverter uh, during the uh, 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 no, clock when it is low uh, both out one and out two will be uh, charged to uh, one right now uh, suppose in the evaluation phase uh, no, in the in the evaluation uh, phase an uh, input is making uh, no, a change from uh, no, uh, zero to uh, one right uh, in the in the pre-charge uh, no, in the state itself uh, input here is one so it has to be zero here and it is since it is chain of inverter two chairs this has to be a uh, one here right so what happens is the moment clock is going high there will be some time required for this output to be discharged to zero uh, through these two gates right so there will be some time required so meanwhile what happens this is one out here this output also will start discharging here so you will see output is uh, start discharging here right and then after some time this output will come to zero uh, and then uh, <coughs> this will go eventually uh, to a zero right but then uh, if it is a perfect zero here it should be perfect one here but there is no way this can get charged to one here because this is off now uh, during the evaluation phase right um, look, is it understood so what is happening is like I have a clock both the output nodes are uh, pre-charged to one right now this 
this input is zero here so it should be one here it, if it is one here it will be zero here but this one once the clock goes high only then this one will start falling towards zero and till the time it falls to zero uh, this will be driving this gate this output also will start falling to zero so i cannot uh, na, cascade uh, na, gates uh, na, like this okay for this also uh, na, uh, one option available with us will be uh, to put an uh, 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 circuit like this out here right so that it uh, recharges uh, uh, this uh, node but uh, still uh, uh, that will re uh, that will make uh, uh, this as one but what about here again you will have to put an, uh, one more uh, here also so uh, there is an uh, required now uh, what is the cap at the need uh, what can presence of a cap yeah if you put additional uh, uh, capacitors okay th that will increase the delay and power consumption then the whole uh, purpose of using a uh, dynamic logic so dynamic logics uh, works with the uh, stray uh, capacitances which are there uh, at these uh, nodes okay uh, at, at at high frequencies like uh, for the these charges which are uh, available at here uh, can uh, retain the charges up to around uh, 5 to 10 uh, <coughs> milli, uh, milliseconds okay so uh, milliseconds is what in kilohertz okay so the charge which is available here dynamic charges that will slowly will get discharged okay uh, but that charge the time taken for because this this will be you now in off condition so th those that time required generally is off in the order of milliseconds okay so these uh, uh, dynamic gates and uh, because these days nobody works in kilohertz range uh, all these circuits they work in, in a close to gigahertz range so that is uh, not a, a problem at all okay but by adding capacitances uh, we will uh, increase the delay then uh, the whole uh, concept uh, fails then okay so uh, that's all uh, for today uh, thanks a lot uh, but